There's a certain narrative arc that often accompanies stories about female victims of domestic violence, but there's nothing typical about the storytelling in The Wholehearted, now playing at Arts Emerson. WGBH News Arts Editor Jared Bowen is here. You saw the play last night. You were struck by it. Yeah, this is a very, very interesting piece. It's, it's a one-woman show, and she's a boxer who, uh, and then first I should set the scene for you, which is you walk into this small space, you see the ring, and it's littered with pill bottles and, and a half-empty Jim Beam bottle. There's evidence, evidence that somebody has been living in this ring, and in fact, this, this boxer, Dee Crosby, has been, because you realize quickly that she has been the, the victim of horrible domestic violence by her husband, mm. who attacked her, uh, and she is trying to get her life back on track, but also considering what her next steps are. Uh, but this is a play that unfolds in, in a variety of ways because it's, it's multimedia. And here's the boxer here telling her story. Uh, but very quickly, you also see her as the boxer. And, and one of the ways the story is told is she recreates how, she, how her career ballooned to, which, to the extent at which she was a very, very celebrated uh, boxer uh, fighting at uh, Caesar's Palace. And, and she t narrates her own story mm. by also doing all the boxing moves. And from what I understand, wow. she trained for an entire year. And you can see that wow. she actually is in pretty incredible shape. Uh, but she's telling the story as this triumphant boxer, but also somebody who's trying to find her own value in, in life and trying to find her own strength when it's questioned, given everything that she's just gone through. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, as I was mentioning, it's, it's told on a couple different levels because she's also giving a love letter of sorts to somebody she wants to become reacquainted with, and she's doing that to a camera. So it's sort of very new staging where you see this unfold on the stage, but you're also see, having to watch the monitors to see it unfold above, oh, that's too. That's kind of cool. Does the whole thing take place in the ring? It does, and she inhabits several different characters. Uh, she inhabits the, the, the people who are, are questioning her motives and, and how strong she really is. Could she act, actually come back from an incident of domestic violence like this? She portrays her husband, her abuser, mm. uh, and she also does a couple of musical numbers in the show, country music. So this is a very versatile actress, and this is, the, I should mention, this is the inception of this piece. It's a world premiere happening right oh. now at Arts Emerson. How long is it going to be there? Uh, it's here, I believe, just through this weekend. These things come and go so quick. Quickly, you know, it's like a little promotion and then it's gone. Well, I think it's part of the problem. It's it's a changing audience habits. Mm. That's what's happened. I've asked theater right. directors about this. Why there are such short runs? Because shows used to come in, into weeks. town and sit down for weeks, but because people buy spur of the moment now or they uh -huh. buy through social media, the artistic directors don't have a way to plan, so they don't know if something's going to have longevity in the end, and they can't take the risk anymore. Huh. All right. So there's a film coming out this Friday that you're hopped up on too. You've already seen it. I have. It's called uh, Only Lovers Left Alive. And Jim Jarmusch is the director who has done these great independent moves, uh, movies, often with a different sensibility. Uh, and this film is about two vampires, <laughs> one played by Tilda Swinton. So this is your her. this is your art house yeah. vampire movie. The other is Tom Hiddleston. Two great actors, and they're living at opposite ends of the planet. She in Tangier, he in Detroit, and they become reunited. And they've been married since the mid 1800s. Yeah. And you see their wariness about traveling through the world and what the world has become, what civilization has become because throughout the film they talk about all the poets and writers and artists that they knew dating all the way back to Christopher Marlowe. So it's this great concept and uh, and so they meet each other in Detroit and it's a, a really great depiction of Detroit of today. Uh, you see the decay of that city and you see what it has become. Uh, one of the most devastating parts is they, they but there's whole one whole scene in a theater uh, that used to be magnificent in Detroit mm. when it was the automobile capital of the world that's now from what I understand a parking garage, which is just heartbreaking. Uh, but it's a very well-told vampire story. Okay, so what is what mission are they on after all these centuries of being married? They just want to get together. Oh. <laughs> they want to sort of still understand each other and help each other after living very independent lives. She, she says to him at one point, you're the, the suicidally uh, sort of corrupt romantic because he's sort of at the end. He can't deal with civilization yeah. anymore. It, it's so interesting. It makes you think very, very differently about this whole, this whole genre, something you think has been tapped out because we the really have moved thing. on from yeah. the vampire films and they found a new entry She point. is a perfect vampire. I mean, I love her. She is... I mean, I saw the ad for that that movie and just thought the whole look and the way she she, she looks, you know, well, she's ghost like. Yeah, you're absolutely right. She's somebody who's so mesmerizing. And in the very first scene, you see her walking through the streets of Tangier, and she's got the she's walking at night because she's a vampire. She's got the <laughs> scarf around her. Just being able to watch her eyes as she's darting around these Middle Eastern streets, she's so captivating. Where's no makeup? <laughs> Jared Bowen, thanks so much.